guys. Join. Hi, welcome everyone. Uh, so we'll have 15 minutes for this round table today. I'll be going through one by one. We ask that you please keep your mic muted while other journalists are speaking uh, so that we don't have any cross feed. And, we, and on this first round, if you could please just say your name and your outlet, just so Bailey and Kevin know who they're speaking to. And we'll start today with Monica, please. Hi, how are you? Good morning. This Hi, Monica. Hi. I just had a, I, I, I really enjoyed the movie. And I think that it's something that in this time, uh, we need that type of movies available to our teenagers to watch and probably parents as well. My question was about the, I, I'm, I have seen you before, uh, Bailey, in movies <laughs> and in shows, but I didn't know that you had that singing voice and also the dancing part. So mm -hmm. I want to know, how did you prepare for this movie? Thank you. Well, I hope, I hope, I hope the voice was okay to listen yes. to. That is a fear of mine <laughs> that everyone's like, everyone's like, Bailey, why'd you do that? <laughs> but, uh, but no, I've always wanted to do music. I think when I was little, I never even said I wanted to act. It was always like, I want to put on shows and get to do music. Um, and the craziest part is that a lot of these songs that we were able to, to reimagine were songs that I grew up listening to in my own house. So they were already very, very close to my heart, but it was definitely, it was, it was a process and a journey. I mean, I, you know, kind of just was thrown into a vocal booth for really the first time and had to try to learn how to, how to record and work my voice in that way. And dance rehearsals were different. You know, I'm a big interpretive dancer when it comes to like being alone in my kitchen, but like never on camera. So uh, it was a first and, uh, and it, to get to check that off the bucket list was, was really, it's been so exciting for me and very nerve wracking. Like I've always put out my acting to the world, but never this side. So I hope it's okay. okay. You did amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, Monica. Angela, go ahead. Hi, um, I'm actually covering for Angela Camacho. I'm Victoria Camacho with Being Big Latina. Hi, you guys. Hi, Thank you so you? much for speaking with us today. The movie, I really enjoyed it. it it kind of brought me to tears because it's been a while since I've seen a good movie like that. I haven't seen a good movie like that since like high school musical. It was those, wow. those type of vibes. So really appreciate you guys making the movie. What I would like to ask you both is what would you say is your guys' favorite number, like favorite song of the movie and why? I'm always a big fan of the dive musical number. I think just because it's so dynamic and the landscape is always changing. Uh, you go from the blob and the dock to uh, George's character coming down the sidewalk and uh, Sean's character coming down the beach and hitting volleyballs. And then we're all in the water at one point. The energy of that scene is just so great. And it really captures the spirit of everyone together. You know, we're all just having a blast. And I think it just makes it feel all the more real. I agree. Yeah, it was great. I'm glad. I, I loved that one. I would say place in this world as was the first it was actually the first day of filming and it was the first musical number that we did so we kind of like came you know running right off the bat um and that that scene holds a lot of love for me just because I feel like through the music and through the dance you you see these two characters you know start to fall for each other and break those walls down so that's always really exciting when you get to combine those worlds but uh I love best thing ever too I think at the end of the movie there's something about those those dance moves mm -hmm. that Kind of bring that inner, you know, I want to want to learn these dances with my family and sing a lot of dance as well. So um, I'd say those two, but so, so hard to pick. I love them all. I do. Oh, yeah. You guys really did phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you. Karen, go ahead. Hi, thank you so much. Um, I'm Karen from Rock and Mama. And I wanted to let you know that my daughter has been watching this movie like since we got the screener so she <laughs> loves it and um I told her that I listened to like Amy Grant and Stephen Curtis Chapman and, and all of them like when I was growing up so my question is um I know that um like Amy Grant makes a cameo and um Stephen Curtis Chapman makes a cameo so what was it like to kind of like be in the film with them. I don't know how much interaction you had with them. Um, I don't know. I just think it's it was so fantastic and 
my daughter doesn't know who they are. So I had to explain to her, but I just wanted to know a little bit about working with them and if you worked with them for any of the songs as well. They're both the nicest people. I mean, Stephen and Amy, uh, they did spend a little bit of time with us on set. I think Amy was just so supportive about the Baby Baby remake, remake that we did. And Stephen looked like he was having a blast. You can even see him on the lifeguards chair jamming out to his own redone version of the song. And I think that's what we were going for, which was to do these kind of timeless songs in the CCM world, uh, to do them justice. And I think we successfully did that in this film. I mean, it was it was such a it was such an honor to get to have uh, to have them one say 100 percent you can use our songs. And yeah, these are our babies and you guys can go and take them and have them say that for, you know, for the first time and have that be our film was was so humbling and very exciting. Uh, and then two, to have them just kind of grace our screens for, for a second and be a part of that world was was also so great. There was a there was a moment that was so special when uh, when we were filming Amy's um little kind of cameo where we all sat down after we finished one of the scenes and we played the songs for her on the speaker and uh it was really nerve-wracking and she just sat and listened and was kind of dancing to it and looked at us and to have that that approval and that support meant the world but I grew up listening to these songs out of so many things like that I've been able to tell my family that I've been able to do like telling them that I'm recording place in this world an awesome God and like all these songs for for King of Country and stuff they were they were freaking out as well so um humbled and yeah it was goosebumps for all of us for sure we're with you fantastic love the phone thank you thank you Christina Christina, I just have to say, you've been nodding and smiling this whole time, <laughs> and it's made me so happy. I've seen oh. it every time, every time someone's like, I love the film, you're like, yes. <laughs> I'm like, well, <laughs> love the film. I all have a of you, I'm like looking at all of you, it's so sweet. I have a nine and six year old, and we even let them watch it, and we just all loved it. We loved the music, and Bailey, I feel like I have watched you, like, have others said, like, I mean, on Christmas movies and just other things, like, oh my God, you're just so beautiful. Oh, it's just, it's just so sweet to see you guys on here. So thank you for taking the time to chat with us today. My main question is, what made you want to be a part of this film? For me, it was the message, you know, uh, the message of faith and, and giving a nod to something bigger. Uh, I, I had struggled a little bit with some things in my own life, and I really had good intentions to use those things for Will, Will's character and the sake of justice for the character. Uh, and I think the character alone was enough for me to be really excited about the film. There's just so many layers to him. And I didn't expect to see that many layers uh, while we were shooting it. Uh, I got to give it up to our director, Roman White, who was able to bring that out of me. And, and yeah, I think it was the character that got me on board in the message. Yeah, I, I, I had gotten the script and fell in love with it. I mean, I've been wanting to do music my, my whole life and never really, one, got the guts to do it or two, felt like it was the right time to try to do it and read the script and I fell in love with it. And uh, as a whole, and then I think for me, once I found out that I was able to kind of hop on board and and, and co-produce this movie, it was like, it was the biggest no-brainer because so much of my heart was just kind of poured into it. Um, and uh, yeah, humbled and grateful to get to be a part of this. I feel like it's it's very, very much needed, especially right now. Thank you. Thanks, Christina. Hugs to your kids. <laughs> Carolina? Hi guys, thanks for being here. This movie totally brought back so many memories. I went to a church camp growing up, so it was just a lot of fun. Um, Kevin, my question is for you. Um, kind of uh, the same question that was given to Bailey as far as singing. I mean, you give off Zac Efron vibes in High School Musical. Like I <laughs> was like, yep, that's like Zac, like, uh, Zac Efron 2.0. So I was just wanted to see how you are prepared. Are you a natural singer? Was it a lot of preparation? How does, was that experience for you? I like to think I'm a natural singer. I, I've been singing for as long as I can remember. Uh, and I do have a major label project coming up that I'm really excited about, which I haven't really disclosed to a lot of people. But as far as the actual process, it's pretty like, much- Tell me more. <laughs> tell us, Kevin. <laughs> tell us more. <laughs> as far as the actual process, I mean, I started out doing uh, stage productions in Chicago. I'm originally from Chicago. And uh, I did a lot of drama work while I was working in that city. And to, I kind of put it on hold for half hour, multi-cam comedy, you know, stuff like that. And being able to revisit that and that dramatic process that I had developed as a teenage actor 
uh, it was really refreshing and I missed it, you know? So uh, it wasn't like out of the ordinary, some kind of crazy preparation method process. It was just my normal preparation process. But a lot of what I was dealing with at the time uh, played really well to Will's character. And I think it did him justice in the process. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Alyssa? I, I just want to say I absolutely love the movie. I watched it with my almost teenage daughter and it was just, it was fabulous. I love the music. I love the dancing. I guess my question for you is you both have such amazing chemistry on set. I was wondering what it was like off set and also how was it working um, with Sherry on this film? Aww. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, I'm glad you like it. First of all, that makes us very, very happy. Uh, Kevin, you want to, you want to go ahead? Uh, I mean, do you want to go? I don't care. I'm always like, that's a, it's so weird on Zoom because you don't want to cut anyone off. Uh, oh, look at the little one. Uh, no, yeah. So I, I mean, the chemistry was 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 so exciting. Oh, all these babies are so cute. It's like, how am I supposed to look at look at? Okay, I'm with you. Um, I think for us, the chemistry was was really exciting for me. I mean, it was the first time I was actually in a movie. I think with people my age, for the most part, I was always surrounded by adults, so that was a really special thing for me. And I kind of, I did. I was nervous. I was like, am I going to make friends? You know, what's it going to be like? And, uh, and just fell in love with everyone on set. I mean, Kat and Ian and Jabril and Kevin, obviously, who I had known before. Um, we spent four weeks together trying to learn these dances and be a part of this new experience for all of us. And I think that really bonded us. But I mean, the laughs and the smiles that you see, they couldn't be more real. Um, we genuinely had had such a great, great, great time. So and then Sherry, I mean, she's amazing. She's like, She's so great. She's like always moving. She's always dancing. And uh, it was a joy to have to have her on set always whenever she was there. Yeah, Sherry, Sherry fit right in. Uh, she was so great and such a joy. Um, but yeah, as far as the chemistry between Avery and Will, uh, I'm not I'm not really sure how it developed. It was a very natural progression. And I think it just stemmed from me and Bailey's friendship. Uh, and I was just so excited to see that it worked in the final cut. And then, you know, when the cameras weren't rolling, I, I don't know, Bailey, I feel like we had a good time. So I, I go with that. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah, no, we did. I mean, I think it was, I think it was so fun because um, we did, we just leaned on each other and we had a great time. And I think with acting, you have a blast. You get to play off of one another and try things. And I felt like a really safe place to get to do that and trust each other with that. And yeah, I mean, we'd, we'd go into full conversations at night, you know, we'd like, we hit all the life topics, you know, there was nothing not discussed with Kevin and I, so um, it was, it was a joy, and it was so fun to get to watch him, watch him grow on the set, uh, and his work in the movie is, it really is, it's, it's so beautiful. I, I, I really would... appreciate it. Thank you. Rachel, go ahead. Hi, I'm Rachel from Pretty and Baby Food, and mm -hmm. I just want to tell you that I wish that this movie had been out when I was a teenager, because oh. this is a movie that, I mean, I grew up in a very Christian household, and this would have been a movie that my mom would be like, yes, you can watch this, yes, 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 and I'm so glad that it's there for my kids. Now, I have younger kids, you know, five years and three years, but they can still watch it, mm -hmm. and they can still learn from it and everything, and that's one of the things I love about the film. Thanks, Rachel. But I would like to know, are there any fun behind-the-scenes fun facts that you can share with us? It's fun facts. I'm gonna hit you with something fun and facty in a second. Kevin, you got anything? <laughs> One of the uh, fun facts is that we worked really hard. I mean, I guess that's a fun fact, but the you reason- I <laughs> something. I've seen the film as well, and I, I, I do agree that it's a lot of fun. Uh, and there are moments that just feel effortless and just so real, and I think that that's mainly because we had prepared so much and put in so many rehearsal hours, whether it was the singing or the, the dancing or the uh, scene work. And I feel like the reason why it is what it is and it is fun and it is effortless is because uh, we just put in a ton of work into it and a lot of preparation. So that would be my, uh, my fun fact. <laughs> I'm not uh, sure. I've got a fun fact. The, uh, without giving anything away, um, there's, there's a scene uh, towards the end of the movie before one of the big musical numbers that we see Will on stage. 
Um, and that whole scene leading up to it was actually, it was written, uh, it was written basically top of the morning, the day of, we had a different, a different alternate kind of almost ending that, um, that we were, that we were filming the night before during a night shoot. And, uh, and I remember the team, <laughs> this is my dog Busby. And I remember the team and I kind of were like giving glances, like we've got to rewrite this moment between Avery and Will. And so we went on our lunch break and sat down at the table and we were like, how are we going to do this thing? Uh, so that whole scene with, with them that you kind of glance in the trailer and stuff when, uh, when they finally come together, uh, that was very, very last minute, but it feels like it was always supposed to have a home there. So there was always all this little, you know, hand, hand touches at the, at the last minute, just to try to put that extra little love on it. Awesome. Yeah, it worked out perfectly. Good thing that you changed it. Yeah, I'm glad. We feel that way. I mean, we didn't see the scene before, but it was it was rough. We were all like, this is not it. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all so much. That's all the time we have. Uh, you should have the link to the next room in your email, and we ask that you uh, please follow that directly there. Hold on. Thank oh, you wait, all wait. so much. Anyone we didn't talk to has to leave? <laughs> Yes, we have to move on. Is Amanda leaving? Hold on, I just want to say hi to Amanda really quick because I watched her YouTube video. Oh, hi. Hi. And I just wanted to say hi. I, I was writing to, to some of the producers about your video. And we, oh, we awesome. So thank you very, very much. It's good to see you. And Tanae, I don't know if I said your name right. Hi. Hello. Thank you to and all of you for coming. My really wants to say hi to you. Hi. Hello, hi. Bailey. He was like, oh my God, mommy, that's Xander. Yeah, hello. We love you. Have an awesome mom. Give her a hug from us. All right. Thank you guys so, so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so handsome. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. God bless, guys.